All new Kira 9, a Colorado hero who died in World War II at a prison camp decades ago, is finally now back home. Now Clifford Strickland's remains arrived at Denver International Airport today, escorted by a relative who knows better than most the importance of service. That story in our Serving Those Who Serve report. 82 years later, they are finally bringing him back home. A World War II hero who, it turns out, comes from a long line of service. The Strickland bloodline has served in the military since the Revolutionary War continuously. Uh, it is very surreal. It is in our blood. It's Air Force Captain Daniel Strickland who had the honor of escorting back to Colorado the remains of his great uncle, his grandfather's brother, Clifford Strickland, a man he'd never met but was inspired by nonetheless. When I was asked to do it, my first feeling was uh, unworthy. That's my honest feelings. Uh, but honored. In 1942, Clifford Strickland of Florence was in the army in the Philippine Islands when Japanese forces invaded early in World War II. He was taken prisoner, subjected to the 65-mile-long Bataan Death March, and survived it, only to die while in captivity. He was buried in a mass grave and eventually moved to this American cemetery in Manila in the Philippines, where he was interred as an unknown. The remains of dozens of other Coloradans forever rest here too, as we found out when we visited the Manila Cemetery a few years ago. Some 17,000 U.S. service members from World War II are interred here. Their stone markers so far from home, few of their American families ever get the chance to come see this in person. But it was family. Back home in the U.S. that was able to finally solve this mystery. In addition to dental and other analysis, relatives submitted mitochondrial DNA to the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency. And sure enough, it was a match. With modern DNA uh, technology, they're able to do that to a much better degree than they ever have ever done before. Strickland arrived to a motorcycle escort with the American Legion Riders, the VFW Warriors, the Special Forces and Marines Motorcycle Clubs, riders from as far as Pueblo and La Junta, traveling all the way to Denver International Airport for this long overdue homecoming. That escort route through Denver and down through Colorado Springs, the end of a journey that took nearly 8,000 miles and more than 80 years to complete. I hope that this story brings you some faith that your loved ones will return home. Strickland's going to be laid to rest Saturday in Florence with full military honors.